Hey everyone, real quick, I wanna walk you through how I used Lovable to give me some inspiration to build out this dashboard here in Google Sheets. So Lovable is typically used to build full-on web apps and mobile apps. So you give it a prompt and it'll spin something up for you. And then you can actually go on to host and deploy that app. And it's a fully functioning app and I've used it before and it's awesome. But as I started using it, I realized that it also gives really good inspiration for like general layouts and UIs. And I build a lot of spreadsheets and dashboards, especially like finance and accounting related spreadsheets. And sometimes I struggle with the layout side of things. I know what needs to go into the spreadsheet, but like, how should it all look and feel and what may, what's the most like user-friendly approach that I can take for the dashboard? And so for this particular one, I actually decided to use Lovable and give it a prompt and it actually helped inspire how I laid everything out here. So I want to just share that with you and walk you through how I went about doing that. So if you go into Lovable, I'm just going to start with a very basic prompt, build me a really nice looking personal budget finance template mainly just the front end, no code required. I want to use it as inspiration to build a dashboard in a spreadsheet. So let's start there and wait for it to respond. It might take a couple minutes to respond. So in that, in, in that time, I'll just quickly walk you through what I built out here, but Really simple, three tabs. I've got the setup tab. You can, it's just, it's a personal finance and budget template. So you can put in your name, select your currency, the time period for which you want to view your transactions for. You can put in your income categories, expense categories, and then your monthly budget, or your, I should say your monthly goals for the income side of things and your monthly budget for the expense side of things. Then you got the transactions tab, which you just go in and enter your transactions. You can just copy and paste your transactions in here. If you have transactions in a different format than this, you can use ChatGPT or Grok or another AI tool to help you with the formatting. And then you can just copy and paste it into this spreadsheet accordingly. And then by doing all that, it'll spit out this dashboard for you. I think for the most part, it's pretty self-explanatory. It shows your income and expenses, how you're tracking against your goals and whether you're within budget or over budget shows you your monthly income versus expenses breakdown. And then over here on the right-hand side, this is where I really got some inspiration from Lovable is the by category breakdown of whether you're within budget or over budget on your expense categories or on your expenses, I should say, and then whether you're tracking against your goals for the income side of things. So I just used like little bar charts to, to build this out but I made it functional so it actually updates dynamically. And what I mean by that is I added it in these date filters. If I click into a specific date and I change it, you can see that the data updates accordingly. And then the last thing I'll show before I go back to Lovable is I built in this little reset button as well. I got some inspiration from Lovable on that. So if you click on this reset button, it will reset all of the data back to the original calendar date. And I just built that out using Google Apps Script. So you can use a tool like ChatGPT or Grok or another tool to help you build that script. And I cover that in some other videos. But yeah, I thought that by building all this in, it would be a complete personal finance and budget template. So let's go ahead and go back to Lovable and see what it gave us. So this is really good. This actually <laughs> looks better than my template, to be honest. But to be fair, like you can't build this full design into a spreadsheet because there's just some design limitations in terms of what you can do in Google Sheets. But as you can see, it does give you some inspiration, right? So in this case, it has the title, date up top. You have those KPI cards at the very top. I really like those. Your budget category. So in the original prompt that I gave it, it gave me something like this showing all of my different categories and whether I'm under budget or over budget similar to the income side of things. And it also gave me, it looks like it gives me a list of recent transactions. So that's really cool. That's an idea. Like I could like maybe even build a section here called recent transactions 
or I use like a filter formula or something to bring in the top 10 most recent transactions. So that's like actually really cool. But yeah, so here, like you can iterate on this a little bit more. So let's say if I go into Lovable again and say, can you actually create a side pane slash bar, like a traditional web app with different menu items and also a calendar picker. So can filter my dashboard accordingly. So let's see what it gives us there. Hopefully it gives us something that looks a little similar to this with the pane on the left-hand side. So let's just give it a minute or so to load. All right, so now it is doing something. And there you go. So you can see that it created a little bar on the left-hand side. And it may not be fully functional, but at least it created the layout for it. And it created like a little date filter as well. So again, like you can use this as inspiration into building out a template or a dashboard or an app or anything really but it's a really cool tool to use for that for those for that purpose anyways so i just wanted to share that quick video for you and hopefully you got some inspiration from it and i'll see you in the next one